Hello and welcome to computational design. Um, let's continue our discussion about using blend surface command. And I want to show you one more way in which it's useful. Uh, why don't we make two shapes? So let's make a uh, two circles uh, for a base. So I can hit zero and then a radius and then uh, a smaller radius. And our one of our profile views, let's make sure that project is on. And let's let's see if we can get a form. And over here, all right. So in both of these, we have a profile. So let's use our sweep one commands to generate a surface around that. Okay, so we have these vase-like objects. Uh, now in this view, why don't we use a, let's see, we're gonna use a uh, ellipse. And we're going to trim Let's get our curves out of here. Okay. So let's trim. Okay. Um, now let's use our blend surface command. So to find it, we go back to our surface tools and we go to blend surface. Now, when we cut it, we might have broken some edges. Like for example, we're going through a seam. So do chain edges for one, two, and it will automatically make sure auto chain is on and then select your edges. So it's giving us a seam. Okay, great. Now let's take a look at, um, if we hold shift and move, So this should give us, see if we, if we move both of these down here, it should help. Let's, let's change our degree. Why don't we do a, a lesser degree? And what I'm worried about is that uh, our corners, our edges are uh, coming apart. So what we can do is grab our sort of play around with how we can grab different elements uh, to sort of shift them. And let's Okay. We can also just do a straight and just go back to one here to kind of reset it. Let's go one. Okay. So why don't we, in order to sort of get it to work, See if we can pull it back. Oops. And why don't we turn our wireframe on here? There we go. Okay, so All right. So 
let's do tangency. So let's do shift. Okay. So now what's, what we're seeing is our, our lines and our edges are folding in on themselves. So we have to figure out how to get that to not do that. And some of the ways we can do this, uh, we can also do uh, the curvature three here, and this will help us a little more. So um, for curvature three, let's pull this down here. This can pull down. way down, okay, so here, okay, all right, You have to play around with it a little bit. Uh, if you need to reset it, you can always reset it by moving these. So let's move it back to one and one. Okay, so if we go to our right view, our front view, And sometimes we need to do a, an extra curvature here. We just want to make sure that our lines aren't bunching up anywhere on the side. We hit OK, oops. Get ghosted. Okay, let's try this again. So shift for symmetrical. Okay, shift for symmetry. Now, if we give to four, uh, so what, what, we're, what we're doing is we're adding uh, degrees here. So uh, for more complex curvature, um, so let's bring this down. So C is these come down. If I hold shift, they come down together. Top view, if I hold 
Alt. put a curve in it so sometimes these curves Once we're satisfied, we hit OK. We go to our shaded view and take a look. Now let's do a curvature analysis here. So what we're, we're looking for is um, where there's potential problems. Uh, so if we do curvature analysis, we get a map that comes up. And what we're looking for are red spots. So this is where uh, the curvature is at its extreme. Okay, so this looks like it's okay, so it should be a good mesh. Uh, and now when we contour this, let's check it out in perspective. And now we can plan our curves. So this is what our our model will look like here. Okay, thank you very much.